How you doing, America? This is Kim Brockman, and today we are bringing you the current and up-to-date news on Assassin's Creed 3. Going straight to Danny, our recorder man, on set with Connor. Danny, how's it looking out there? Well, you know, blah, it's, uh, blah. Guys, I, I think he's drunk again. Yeah, uh, he's definitely drunk again. Get, get the camera away from him. It appears he's passed out. You know what? Let's go to our live correspondent, Andy from Cali. He's actually in Boston, Massachusetts with the community at this moment. Andy, what can you tell us? Hey, Bob. It's me, Andy from Cali. Uh, we are here, and you know what? We're going to start a riot because we are just tired and fed up of how we've been treated in this city. Um, oh, Bob, this game, it's, 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 it's amazing. You know, the, the city is so alive with energy and the people just react to you however you respond i mean right here you know we're revolting we're whooping ass as you can see the ai is now afraid of me because i pretty much slayed the rest of their friends check this guy out there's always a couple pussies in the group and this is when i decide you ain't going nowhere buddy come here come here Shh. it's okay it's okay me and this dog we will not stand for this let's go boy sick him Sick him! It's, I mean, this guy, guys, this game is really realistic. I mean, this guy is literally still running, scared to death of me because they know what I just did and what I'm capable of. But I'm just not gonna let him. Come here, Tubby. Sass! As you can see right here, this is the area of the Great Chicago Fire. All this place is burned down. Oh, we got a rumble in the Bronx. The mechanics are great in this game, guys. It uses a circle parry move where timing is very crucial and so fun with the square and hacking and slashing with Connor's various different moves and different reactions all the time. It makes fighting so seamless and fun. You just feel like a bad fucking ass. Now walk away, Grand Theft Auto style. Oh yeah. I mean seriously guys, when you play this game, you feel like your gonads are like the size of fucking watermelons, you know? You can just take on anybody. As you can see right here, I'm in one of the bases which I actually took over, but I decided to have a little fun with the AI. You know, you can use various strategies using different tactics right here. I use a smoke bomb. It's a very Connor style go up to this guy and shh, silence. Uh, I love using the smoke bombs. It disables everybody around you. But like I said guys, the fighting is really the shit in this game, you know, it's the countering, the slow motion stops, the uh, the reactions, the countless times where you get shot by firing squads. I mean guys, if you get, you know, let's just say you're fighting and you're, you're lagging, you're not really killing anybody, like right here, I was trying to test the AI and see what they would do if I didn't try to really kill them, just parry them. And as you can see, they all start attacking more and more, and they actually try to try to you know jump you if you will and then you get some awesome stuff like this boom shakalaka ah! that speaks for itself I mean the, the cutscenes that it goes through like that during combat where you parry more than one person it's just it's, it makes this game all the more the merrier like I said whether you're on land or sea the fire squads are always a problem for you they're always trying to shoot you while others you know the aggro are trying to kill you while you're getting killed by t t 10 guys those firing squads will reload their guns now on to the cinematics, guys. The cinematics always come in Assassin's Creed 3 out of nowhere, and they never feel like you're being transferred to another... You know, you're not, you're not watching a movie that looks so real, and you go back to the gameplay, which looks crappy. It always looks the same, guys. It always looks the same type of quality, which is amazing. Always seamlessly going from one part to another. Always feeling like you're inside Connor, and you are in a movie. You are the man, and you are saving the day, people. Never gets old, never gets old. I am a mad bastard, aren't I? Guys, the satisfaction in this game from beating these battles and wars and how you affect people that live in poverty and who are being stricken down by the man, how you affect them, it feels so amazing. You have so many relationships with side characters in this game. 
Now onto the peaceful side of assassins, you know, the climbing, I thought, it's just getting better and better with these game. Climbing trees uses an R1 um, tactic where you basically hold R1 while you're on the trees using your camera view. You can change and change the, the perception of where you're looking and that pretty much controls Connor. You know, at first it's a little tricky, but once you get used to it, it's, it seems very, very easy and very doable. And um, it's pretty fun. You can use the trees to hunt. You can use the trees to even hang an enemy with a rope from his neck on the tree. Uh, don't play that part when mama's around, all you little kids out there, because uh, she's not going to like it. She's going to say, don't play that game anymore. And I'm going to say, screw that. Uh, as you can see here, you can take over bases and camps with uh, when the red coats have them. You can basically go in there, challenge. You have to kill the main boss in there, which is the leader. And once you kill him, you have control of the base and they evacuate and your blue men come in. Assassin's Creed 3, baby! Yeah! For all you guys that like to cause chaos and just fight Grand Theft Auto style, even against your homies, this is a game for you. The game gives you the freedom to fight whenever you want, wherever you want, with whoever you want. And they're gonna try to take you out. Ah, oh, guys. Let's get to the nitty gritty of Assassin's Creed 3, which is the naval battles. Yes, you heard me, naval battles. Nobody hardly even knows about this, but this shit is amazing. I'm talking the most realistic navaling you've ever played, from turning the boat to shooting L1 to shoot your mini cannons, R1 to shoot your humongous cannons. You can upgrade the ship's hull, you can upgrade its defenses, you can upgrade its cannons, just like you can upgrade all the weapons in this game that you find. All the weapons you craft, you can upgrade. You can craft Lincoln Sword, Washington Sword. I mean, this is crazy. The ships are so fun to do. They never get boring. I mean, seriously, this game has over 10 to 12 side missions just on naval battles. The naval battles are better than the actual battleship game. I mean, this is the best naval battles I've ever played, and I recommend it for everybody. Ooh. Yeah, guys, this, this this part really got me wet. I mean, seriously, I squirted like a teenage whore all over the wall when I played this. It was amazing. The way the boats use strategies and how they all try to overtake you and the way you take damage and you press square to duck to, to uh, basically protect your heads from getting sliced off by cannons. Fucking fun, man. God. If you, haven't, if you don't want to go out and buy this game right now, I don't know what the fuck's wrong with you. You got problems. You're on crack? I don't know. But the missions, even when you think, oh, it's just a linear ship mission. Nope, no, it's not. This is Assassin's Creed 3, baby. You ain't playing some garbage down the street, you know? Right here, you're going to get the real deal. Just when I was playing this mission, I had no idea that we were going to come into a situation with no more ammo and have to take out the man of war with our hole that I had reinforced with my own money that I earned. Oh, man, it cost like $30,000. It wasn't even funny. But it pays off in this cutscene where Connor goes and takes over the boat because we just wrecked it. Assassin's Creed 3, guys, all I can say is you need to get out and go buy this game, whether it be exploring the vast, the adventures, you know, many cities from New York to Los Angeles to, to the uh, frontier. You're never going to get bored in this game, guys. You can craft things. You, you have so many side quests with people who you actually save from poverty-stricken areas. You bring them out of the areas to your land that you have freed. I mean, literally the land of the free, guys. You affect so many people, and and um, it never feels old and never drags. It always feels like you are 100% emotionally invested in this game and that is why I give Assassin's Creed a 10 out of 10 people it doesn't miss any marks it hits on all aspects go out and get it the fighting the crafting the people the places the animals the kids the children the the cities oh my god oh my god oh my god no seriously if you guys like the video check it a like want to subscribe do it i ain't gonna stop you you know what i mean assassin's creed 3 andy from cali thanks for watching guys